प्रधानमंत्री जी का बार बार ये आदेश रहा ये मार्गदर्शन रहा कि भारत सरकार तक चलकर कोई ना आए हम कैसे भारत की सरकार को प्रदेश के दर तक ले आए उसी प्रयास में आज नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट्स के लिए ये जोनल मीटिंग का आयोजन हुआ एट दी ऑन सेट माई कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स एंड ग्रेटिट्यूड टू द स्टेट ऑफ असैम फॉर बींग काइंड इनफ टू होस्ट दिस जोनल मीटिंग द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड इन इंडिपेंडेंट हिस्ट्री ऑफ आर कंट्री वेर वंस द बजट सेशन गेट्स ओवर यू सी इमीजिएटली एन इंटरक्शन बिटवीन स्टेट एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स द डिजायर एमिनेटेड from the fact that we wanted to expeditiously implement the vision of the honorable prime minister that found a voice in the union budget i am sure those who have gathered here today have seen the presentation on the three prominent missions that the ministry now has the responsibility in collaboration with state governments to implement it is to be said that in the union budget we saw an increase of 14% with regards to budgetary allocation for women over the previous year today the union budget has espoused a spend of 171000 crores for the welfare of women across the country and as a part of those welfare measures we are proud to say that mission portion is one of the flagship schemes of the honorable prime minister we all are aware that due to malnourishment there are many a families that are challenged with health needs and emergencies i would here like to highlight ki jab hum mahila shakti ki governance ki drishti se baat karte hain to ye kehna uchit hoga ki bharat sarkar mein matra ek vibhag hi mahilaon ke kalyan ke liye samarpit nahi hai we have the pleasure to have on the dais a minister who is also minister health in the state and my minister of state i am proud to say is also the minister in charge of ayush and what is exceptionally distinct about these two gentlemen is that they has been a gender wise systemically in governance where there was a presumption that only female ministers can help serve the cause of women and children in our country so i applaud the prime minister and the chief minister which have deemed fit to eliminate this gender bias from a political governance narrative it is often celebrated that our country came together when the prime minister gave the clarion call for swachh bharat yojana never before in the history of our country did we see a prime minister stand at the ramparts of the red fort and proclaim that if we are to afford respect and dignity to the women of our country the first basic essential that they need is a toilet ladies and gentlemen i still remember that speech because i was sitting right behind him and one of his directions was to ensure that in just one year governments at the state and center come together to make sure that we built toilets separately for female students in government schools across the country never before did state governments and the government of india come together and in just one year complete that national target given by the honorable prime minister which means ki sarkar jab sankalp le samaj jab saath de तो असंभव को भी हम संभव हिंदुस्तान में कर सकते हैं अभी टू ट्रेजर द फैक्ट दैट इन आर कंट्री अंडर द स्वच्छ भारत योजना 11 करोड़ टॉयलेट्स वर मेड इन इंडिविजुअल हाउस होल्ड्स व्हाई डू आई से दिस इमेजिन इन अ ईयर वेर वी ऑल सेलिब्रेट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ 75 फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ आर इंडिपेंडेंस वी हैड इलेवन करोड़ फैमिलीज which never had their own toilets imagine that for the first time it took this prime minister to set the menstrual hygiene protocol 
to serve young girls and the needs of women in this country. That we did so after 70 years of independence tells us how much yet is left to be done. I remember there was a conversation around women and medicine. There was a presumption internationally that when it comes to emerging medical challenges like breast cancer and cervical cancer, women in our country are bereft of any solution because there is a cultural stigma to even talking about cancer of the breast or the uterus. What the Prime Minister did instead is leapfrog into a solution. He knew that poor women in our country cannot afford the treatment, not that they are culturally shy from speaking about it or engaging with a medical institution. And that is why when the Ayushman Bharat Yojana benefits 10 crore families in our country, what is the biggest takeaway and success in that program of the Government of India? Today I can proudly say that in the journey of Ayushman Bharat Yojana, the footfalls in all wellness centers and 25,000 hospitals that are a part of this national ambitious health scheme, 45 crore footfalls are of only female citizens of our country. What I'm proudest still is that those poor women who took this umbrella scheme and got themselves screened for breast cancer and cervical cancer in the rural parts and poorer areas of our country, their record number now stands more than 7 crores, which means 7 crore women knew what they will be afflicted with, knew the challenge before them, but were given the support for the first time and they utilized that support to get a solution for themselves. And that is why today, when we focus on the issues of nutrition, female health, child and their needs, I am happy that this engagement was not limited to governments alone. I am particularly grateful to stakeholders who have come today and given their suggestions and heard from us our efforts. Because the cause of women and children cannot be served by governance alone. As the Prime Minister says, it has to be a Jan Andolan. As has been enunciated by my officers before, even suggestions like working women hostels. Imagine for years on end in our country, in a working woman hostel, her child was not allowed. Imagine for years on end in our country, in a working woman hostel, a crush was not allowed. And that is why the Prime Minister's insistence to ensure that we engage in a dialogue with civil society so that these anomalies and gaps can be judiciously addressed. And I'm happy to say, first time in the history of our country now, government will support crushes for children in working women hostels across the country. But we are also going to particularly address the needs of those women who come from far and wide to avail of better employment and academic opportunities. In collaboration with the Ministry of Labor, we are going to look at data sets which tell us where there is a heavy convergence of the female factor which need such infrastructure. Additionally, I am proud to say today that for the first time in the history of our country, the Honourable Prime Minister said, why should a woman who is a victim of assault or violence go from one door to another to seek differential solutions from various branches of government? And that is why the Honourable Prime Minister directed the Ministry to ensure that every district in our country has a one-stop crisis centre. For the first time again, a one-stop crisis centre saw a collaborative effort various branches of government came together to ensure that police, legal, psychosocial counselling is all given to women under one roof. However, we did not limit this convergence to one-stop centres alone. In collaboration with women helplines across the country, ladies and gentlemen, in the past three years, 70 lakh women have received support 
from governments in the state and the center. Our effort in this budget is that additionally 300 centers be opened across India, especially in those districts which are denoted as per the data from the NCRB as districts which have higher incidence of crime against women. But given the collaborative extent and the camaraderie between Government of India and the specific love that the Honorable Prime Minister has for the Northeast, today we are in a position to announce that be it one-stop centers or for that matter Anganwadi services, the Northeast and all the states here will receive our active support to ensure that geographical and logistical challenges of the Northeast are met expeditiously by Government of India intervention. That is an assurance that we can publicly give to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is much to do, but yet much that we can celebrate. For the first time, I can say that while the government had initiated the Jandhan Yojana, we saw over 25 crore women have a bank account for the first time in their lives. There were many who spoke about the lack of credit for women in the SME segment. And today, if we look at Mudra, there is much talk about how out of the 32 crore loans given under Mudra, 68% beneficiaries are women. There is, however, less talk about the fact that over the 70 lakh self-help groups that today are operational in our country, they have received 4,85,000 crores from the government of India so that they can be active at the grassroots. However, what brings me greater joy is the fact that the Stand Up India scheme, which gives credit up to 1 crore to enterprises specially heralded by women, has today 80% beneficiaries across all genders as women. So like I said, there is much that we can celebrate. There is much that we are committed to, to provide solutions to. Again, I would like to take this opportunity to highlight specific interventions by two officers. I do so in front of civil society today because these best practices of governance of the fact that governments and officers are open to change and speedy solutions must be brought to light. One such gentleman is seated on the dais, Jishnu Barwaji. I met him three years ago as minister and I highlighted, I gave him a laundry list and I said, sir, this is the issue that needs to be addressed. I come back three years later in the presence of that very officer to be told that those issues which were gaps have now turned into solutions. I also had the privilege of meeting the Honorable Chief Minister who told me that for the first time in the history of our country now, you have a farewell package for Anganwadi workers and helpers. That is something you need to be complimented on, sir, and our gratitude to the Honorable CM for doing the same. Additionally, I have been insistent on ensuring that through technology, and as per the norms of the WHO, we ensure that we provide solution and specially first identify the severely acutely malnourished children of our country. Many of you who have been working in the field of nutrition know that 8 to 10 years ago, there was conversation the world over that the SAM numbers of India match sub-Saharan Africa. I remember when I first took office, I asked UNICEF, can you give me documentary evidence to the same? And I was told that this is an assumption which now has become public discourse. And that is why we wanted to leverage technology to see that children in our country are measured and that data is validated by a third party to tell us what is the ground situation. Today, ladies and gentlemen, if you reflect on the last data sets that came from the NFHS, you will realize that wasting is at 19%. And the portion tracker, which is now available to every Anganwadi in the country, in the month of February, measured 1 crore children. Why do I say this? The NFHS data had 6 lakh households. Portion tracker measured 1 crore children in the month of February as per the WHO standard. And the number of SAM children 
has come down to 2%. We were getting this validated by the Indian Academy of Pediatrics and UNICEF. But this shows that when we measure and work together, many solutions can be delivered. And in that, I would like to compliment the state government of Meghalaya. I came to the state three years ago with this very challenge. Meghalaya, Sampath, the Honorable Chief Minister has my compliments. You took this issue to heart and you have made sure that you have provided consistent effort to address this challenge of not only SAM, but also the issue of mortality amongst women and children. And that is why today, ladies and gentlemen, we are a part of this zonal meeting with a promise. This is not the one-off meeting that you will be bearing witness to. We will meet again before the second quarter begins to see how much of an effort and a promise that we make to each other is kept. लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स और ताजा तरीन खबरों के लिए टीवी पर इंडिया लाइव को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और नोटिफिकेशन पाने के लिए बेल आइकॉन को दबाना मत